guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and, of course, the subscribe button right now. And also, go to the notification bell like click it and select all. So, I'm a new banger and new exclusive video, you will definitely be notified. Well, breaking news, guys, uh, is Air Excellency Turkey Al Sheik um has confirmed that the rematch between the undisputed champion Olesna Usyk and Tyson Fury the former WC Heavyweight champion um is now scheduled for the 21st of December this year 2024 during Riyadh season he says the world will watch another historical fight again our commitment to boxing fans continues we hope you enjoy it. Um, first of all, big ups to Turkey Lashik is as Lindsay for putting up putting all those great fights and this news has kind of broken the internet in a way because Fury Usyk one was a great great fight. But sadly, Fury won't be able to come to the spirit every champion because um yeah, the IBF belt will be stripped, you know. Uh Usyk will be stripped of of the IBS strap. Joshua is probably fighting for it against the winner of Agorish and Dubois in September. And the winner of Usyk Fury rematch will get to meet Anthony Joshua. If Usyk beats Fury again, then him and Joshua meet for the third time. And that is going to be a blockbuster fight because I want to see the new AJ fight Usyk. You know... Thankfully, Usyk, Usyk is not thinking about retirement at all. He, his team are not thinking about that. Uh, they are like saying, listen, uh, they are in this uh, for the long term. And until, until Usyk uh, feels that he cannot physically uh, get up in the morning, do road work, you know, do the normal jogging you do, you know. Uh, wake up 5 a.m go to training highs bad and everything that you do in preparation for for a big for big fights then they cannot stop and Usyk has come a long way to stop now okay this is one thing i like about Usyk. he doesn't care about his old record because a lot of people i know a lot of fighters from the us or the uk that probably would have stopped and retired right now just to say oh i was the last on the spirit for champion I am this great, I am this. Usyk noticed that, listen, it doesn't really matter the losses you have on your record. It, what matters is not your old, your defeated record. What matters is the impact you leave in the sport of boxing, the people you fight, the people you fought, and how much of a fighter you was. And this is why I think I will continue to be an Usyk fan. There's just something about this guy that is just... Uh, um amazing way very humble uh very dedicated uh yeah it's just one of those things you, you just have to give it up to i don't know i cannot hate music you know no matter how much i would say yeah he beat george but i cannot i can't bro i can't so it just makes it very um interesting to see these guys basically put all on the line and Usyk. Uh, you know, I think if Fury by, beat Usyk by mistake, he probably wouldn't give Usyk a, a, tri a rematch for a trilogy. Basically, I think I think he wouldn't. That's why I want Usyk to win. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, big ups to Tokyo Lashik though for for all he's been doing for boxing. This guy has been putting on great fights. You know, you just have to appreciate him, respect what he does. You know, look at the the Riyadh uh, 5v5 uh, uh, event right now. Just look, just look at the settings, man. Like these are world class settings, bro. Like, and people keep complaining about the atmosphere in Saudi Arabia. I tell you right now, I don't think the atmosphere really matters as long as we're seeing the fight. I think the West, especially the UK, US, the UK, they are used to uh, people being drunk, you know, behaving like nuisance, you know. 
um, get going crazy and wide and stuff like that. I think they're used to that. So basically, they want every fight big event to be like that. In Japan, they don't do that. It's just different culture. You know, you cannot westernize every nation. People have passion. Some people have passion. Some people don't. Okay. I know it's different when it comes to football, what Americans may call soccer, because when you score a goal or when you win a tournament, it's a different feeling. Uh, boxing is not like that, you know, because boxing um, is not as spread as soccer. Soccer or football is like in every corner of the world, while boxing is in every corner, but in a different form, you know. So um, this is why we need more eyes on the, we need like, the demographic um of 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 fight fans uh in the in the in saudi is growing the uk had to also grow into it because boxing wasn't really a big deal in the uk you know america was where uh, everything was america was the alpha and omega of boxing basically that every the big fights happened there you know of course we got to witness one of some big events around the globe like the rumble the jungle um josh former ali that at least stuck to our head in a way and that is still one of the most iconic uh, fights the beat up in the song ali bumaye like like the inspiration that muhammad ali brought muhammad ali kind of inspired a whole nation and this is why you have a lot of boxers from from the continent of africa you know like who took up boxing then and stuff like that and my Tyson also did his own his own but uh, not as influential as Muhammad Ali, you know, not as Muhammad Ali is like a different kind of a, um, like he's put he, like he, the the level Muhammad Ali is, you know, in the minds of the people, is is so far far ahead of any other any other box. It's no, it's not only what, it's not only him being a boxer, but also what he stood for as a man, you know, him refusing to do some things that um, didn't seem logical to him in a way. So you have to give it up for him. Yeah, man, I, I can't wait. Uh, December twenty first to like seven months, like that's crazy. I mean, why so? Why need such a long layoff? Probably because they've been training. Um, Usyk, my opinion, has been in the camp for I think for nine months or something. You know, the thing is that about Fury is that you don't know. Like with Fury, you can get a date, uh, you know, sealed and stuff like that. But this guy can, can just pull out at any given time. You know, like, especially when, if he knows he's not going to win or if he's, if he doesn't, if he has a little discomfort, this guy can pull out. It's just kind of crazy. And, um, yeah, I can't, um, it's not interesting though. Let's see what goes on. Uh, what do you guys make of this? Like the video, share, subscribe. Um, there's a big fight, big, big fight. Sadly, it wouldn't be for the undisputed. Who say won't be able to defend this uh, undisputed with, um, uh, uh, belts and Fury, uh, who's, um, Turkey calling Fury um, F uh, champion. Uh, he's not a champion. But okay, is it? Is a, he will always be a champ because he was a heavyweight champion for sure. But he's not the current champion. Usyk is the undisputed heavyweight champion. And when he gets stripped, he'll be unified heavyweight champion. It's just one of those things. I think, as it's just, let's see, Turkey Lashik has a lot of respect for Fury, respect for Usyk, respect for all fighters in a way. And yeah, I'm like, I'm looking for all these fights coming up. It means we'll get to see more exciting fights before this fight. And the real season starts uh, the month of October. So I spent a big card, another big card. And uh, yeah, shout out to Tokyo and the whole of the whole Enzo team are putting the work in um, the Prince of Saudi Arabia. And the King of Saudi Arabia and everyone out there who are, who are in support of this um, magnificent uh, um, adventure over there. It's just like, th things like this. It's just things that, yeah, that can be done. Basically, it's one of those things. You look at. So, guys, um, yeah, that's all, guys. God bless you.